Hi everyone, in this class you'll learn how to form simple present questions. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation about daily routines, which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. I would like to get started by practicing a conversation, which illustrates how this topic is used. Let's listen and practice. Let's go to the park on Sunday. Okay, but let's go in the afternoon. I sleep late on weekends. What time do you get up on Sundays? At 10 o'clock. Oh, that's early. On Sundays, I get up at noon. Do you eat breakfast then? Sure, I have breakfast every day. Then let's meet at this restaurant at 1 o'clock. They serve breakfast all day. Which is heard a conversation in which lots of questions were asked and answered. I would like to explain how these questions are formed. Let me start by explaining the auxiliary verbs that are used when forming questions in the simple present. Do and does are the auxiliary verbs. As we start forming questions, you must also understand this rule. Do equals to I, you, we, and they. Does equals to he, she, and it. This means that we will use the auxiliary do whenever we use the pronouns I, you, we, and they. And we will use the auxiliary does whenever we use the pronouns he, she, and it. Having said this, let me write the formulas to form questions. For yes or no questions, do or does plus subject plus the verb, plus some kind of complement. For WH questions, WH word, plus do or does, plus a subject, plus a verb, plus some kind of complement. Now let's take a look at the simple present questions on your screen. Do you get up early? No, I get up late. Does he have lunch at noon? No, he eats lunch at one o'clock. Do they drive to work? Yes, they drive to work every day. What time do you get up? At 10 o'clock. What time does he have lunch? At one o'clock. When do they drive to work? Every day. On the left side of the chart, you can see yes or no questions. So if you recall the formula that I mentioned a minute ago, for yes or no questions, do or does, plus the subject, plus some kind of verb, plus a complement. Uh, we're going to take the first example. Do you get up early? Do is the auxiliary verb. You is the subject. Get up is the verb and early is the complement and of course we need to add a question mark at the end the next question does is the auxiliary verb he is the subject have is the verb lunch at noon is the complement. Of course, we need to add a question mark at the end. Now, let me show you WH questions. Once again, if you recall the formula that I mentioned a minute ago, for WH questions, WH word plus do or does plus the subject plus some kind of verb plus some kind of complement. Uh, let me select the first question on the right side of the chart. What time do you get up? What time is the WH word? Do is the auxiliary verb. You is the subject. Get up is the verb. And let's just analyze one more example. What time does he have lunch? What time is the WH word? Does is the auxiliary. 
he is the subject, have is the verb, lunch is the complement. Now it's your turn to practice these concepts by making as many examples of your own as you possibly can. Focus on making questions and answers. Form questions about the routine of your family, friends, and coworkers. After you complete this task, share it in our discussion forums.